fussy. Morning, Tig. Daddy, where's Mummy? When I was little, my Mummy went away to look after Grandad. I'm here to look after you and Wooly, said Daddy. Let's get you dressed. Daddy just dumped my clothes on the bed. I like my clothes laid out like a scarecrow, I said. Let's get you dressed. When I got dressed, Daddy got it all wrong. Trousers. Daddy forgot my socks. Went on before my trousers. I got socks on I had to get dressed all over again. Arms, rid of those arms. Hey, right. and there's Willie. Come on, let's go through and have some breakfast. Come on, and get your breakfast. At breakfast, Daddy poured my oaty flakes into a mountain. Daddy, I don't want to add a mountain flat. All right, would you? I like my oaty flakes poured flat. Right, take here's your milk. Then Daddy poured milk from the edges instead of the middle. Well, can you make a hole for it? Daddy gave me the wrong spoon. Daddy, I want my special spoon. Oh, okay. Daddy's rubbish, isn't he? You get stuck in. After breakfast, Daddy wanted to play with my bricks. I didn't like Daddy playing with my bricks. Is that the way you're meant to do it? He got all the colours and shapes the wrong way round. I sat in my little house. After a big bit, Daddy said, Come on, Tig, we're going indoor sledging. Do some indoor sledging? Yay! Look, I've got your snowsuit and I've got your wellies. Come on then. Daddy had my waterproofs and my Wellington. When we arrived at the sledging, I was hungry. So Daddy took me for some lunch. I didn't like my lunch. My peas were next to my fish and not by my potatoes. I just ate the potatoes. The indoor sledging was inside. Daddy wanted me to put on my waterproofs. No, I said. I wear my waterproofs outside, oh not inside. We can't go sledging then, said Daddy. Everything was wrong today. Nothing was just how I like it. Hey, Tig, always doing things in exactly the same way makes you feel safe and happy. But no one can know exactly how you like things to be done because everyone is different. Some things are important to one person, but not to another. No need to be fussy. Which sock goes on first, or where the peas go on your plate, doesn't matter. Putting on your waterproofs inside for a change won't spoil your day. Whee! It'll mean you can go Inside sledging! <laughs> Go for it, Tig! Stop fussing and have fun! Yes, I thought. There's no fun fussing. Daddy, can I put my wet? I like doing things differently today with my daddy. What do we say? One, two, three, let go! Whoa. We had fun inside. Indoor sledging in my waterproofs. When a lady saw Willie on my sledge, she nearly fell over. I don't like being fussy. I like having fun with everyone. And I love Willie. Shadows. When I was little, I didn't like the dark. Willie didn't like the dark either. So Daddy bought me my very own light. The light came in a box. A lamp. A lamp. Oh, that looks lovely, Tig. Should we go and set it up? Yeah, why don't we go and plug it in in your bedroom? See what your new lamp is. Daddy like. plugged the light in. Then we turned the light on. Turn it off. On. 
and then off again. Mummy, can I make something with the box? the box? I like the box that the light came in. Mummy said I can make something with the box. I made a puppet show. I painted inside the box. I didn't have puppets for my puppet show. When Mummy finished her work, she made me puppet birds. The birds were so sweet. She had little beaks and feather wings. The puppet birds could fly. Do you think they're friends? No, brother and sister. Oh, that's nice. At bedtime, I switched on my new light. Daddy and Mummy came to see my puppet show. Two little jackie birds sitting on the wall. The puppet show was all about two birds who sat on the wall. The birds flew away and then came back. Come back, Tweety. Daddy and Mummy liked the puppet show. I snuggled down with Wooly. And all your lights will stay on until you fall asleep. Mummy left my new light on. Mummy left the big light on too. Then I went to sleep. That night I woke up. All the lights were off, but my very own light was on. It glowed. I felt safe. But when I looked up at the ceiling, something was new. I saw hairy monsters. I hid under the bedclothes. I peeped out. The hairy monsters were still there. I wanted to run away. Hey, Tig, things can look scary at night because things can look different. The light and the dark play tricks. You just need to look again to find out what something really is. So I wonder what those hairy monsters could be. Let's peep. There's your new light. And look, just above the new light is your fluffy sheep mobile. And over there is... Oops, big hairy monsters. Round and round they go, just like the sheep. Because that's what the hairy monsters are just the shadows of fluffy sheep. So nothing scary, just shadows. You can make shadows too, Tig. You can make your very own shadow puppet show. Go for it, Tig. No more scaries. Yes, I thought. No monsters, just shadows. I'll have fun making my own shadow puppet show. Mummy and Daddy came to see what I was doing. When they saw a big hairy monster with eight legs walking across the ceiling, they went, <gasps> ah! There's a little guy spider on the wood. I like my new light. What's this thing? I like making shadow puppet shows. I love Wooly. Subway. When I was little, I liked going on the subway train. Wooly liked going on the subway train too. It was fun going down under the ground. It was scary and exciting. When the train rumbled and roared out of the tunnel, it squeaked and hissed and stopped. It was like magic when the door slid open and we got on. I was so happy rattling and shuggling through the tunnels on the subway train. I love the subway train. Wooly loved the subway train too. One day my friend Angel came to play. We played subway trains all day. We drew pictures of subway trains. We made tunnels for the subway trains. Wooly pretended to be a train. How about you build tunnels all around the room and then you can be the subway trains? Yeah. yeah. I think that's good. Mummy gave us lots of old sheets and blankets. We made tunnels all over the place. We hooted 
and went through our tunnels. Sometimes we bumped. Mummy likes our fun. Who wants to go on a real subway? Who wants to ride on a real subway? Before we left, we played sliding doors. Thank you. Come on. We played subway trains all the way to the station. OK, we have to be sensible now. We're going to go on a real subway, so no more playing. When we got to the station, we played sliding doors. No more playing, oh, said Mummy. But me no and Angel were having now, fun. Then okay. Mummy stopped us. She no stood between playing. us okay, we so we couldn't play. Come on, said Mummy. Going underground wasn't fun anymore. The subway train wasn't exciting. There was no magic. Mummy had spoiled our fun. Hey Tig, it doesn't seem fair when someone spoils your fun. It's not nice when someone stops your game. But there are some places where it's wrong to play. There are some places where you need to take special care. The subway is no place to run around and play. Everywhere on the subway, things are moving. The escalator's going up and down. Trains arriving and leaving. Doors opening and closing. People coming and going. So Mummy isn't spoiling your fun. Mummy is taking special care of you and Angel. But hey Tig, that doesn't mean you can't still have fun and enjoy the ride. Just sit back and relax. No need to play a game when you have all the fun of a real train. Go for it, Tig. Say sorry to Mummy and no more train games until you're home again. Yes, I thought. Mummy was right. A real subway is no place to play. Sorry, Mummy, I said. Oh, thank you, Tig. <laughs> Mummy let me and Angel sit together. We had fun on the real subway train. Just looking and shiggling along. When we got home, we played subway trains again. When Mummy saw Willy, she nearly <gasps> fell over. It's only a toy spider. I like subway trains. And I love Willy. Waiting. When I was little, I didn't like waiting. I didn't like waiting for Mummy to finish her work. I didn't like waiting for Daddy to come home. Wooly didn't like waiting either. One day, I was waiting for the rain to right, go Tim. away. He'll be all day waiting for the rain to stop. Should we go and bake a cake instead? Come on, Why then. don't we bake Come a Dad. cake instead? Said Daddy. Right. We washed our hands. And put on our aprons. I put everything on the table. Bowls, sugar, oil, eggs, oranges and raisins. Oh, said Daddy. Carrots. Mustn't forget the carrots. Carrots for a cake. I said. Just you wait and see, Tig. Wait and see, said Daddy. Mmm, I thought. I like my carrots with my potatoes. Daddy chopped the carrots and I grated them in a special machine. Daddy grated orange skins. All of it? We tipped sugar into a bowl. Daddy poured sticky oil all over the sugar. Slop went the carrots and oranges. Yuck! We broke eggs all over the yuck. I sprinkled raisins. Want to do another one? I mixed up the mush. Nothing looks like anything. Is this a cake? I said. Just wait and see, said Daddy. Flump. I dumped some flour and I stirred everything together. I like making cakes. Daddy had a tin with paper. We put the mush into the tin. 
Into the oven went the tin. Say bye bye to the cake. Bye bye cake. Now to wait, said Daddy. Let's see, see the clock up there. So when the big hand gets to 12, it's ready, OK? And now we just have to wait for the cake to bake. How, how long? Can I see the cake now? I said, we not yet, Egg. We have right, to wait. Nothing was happening. I didn't like waiting. Hey, Tig, waiting for things to happen can be very tiring and dull and yawning. <sighs> waiting for things to happen can be angry making too. <laughs> the trouble with waiting for things to happen is that some things just don't seem to happen at all. The time just seems to stop. Tick. Tock, tick, tock. But if you want the time to move and things to happen again, then don't sit and wait. Do something else. Have fun and think about other things. And when you're having fun and thinking about other things, things will start happening. So go for it, Tig. Why not have fun and help Daddy clean the kitchen? Then that cake will be baked in no time. Yes, I thought. No use sitting and waiting. I'll do something else. Daddy, can I help you clean up? I help Daddy do the washing up. OK. Then it was time to take the cake out of the oven. Wow. How lovely does it look? Mmm. Right, we, we waited to again go. for the cake right, to cool. We Willie played hide and seek with Daddy. Oh, oh, it's a spider! Ah, oh, you got me! It's a little spider. Then we ate the carrot cake. It didn't need potatoes. Mm. I don't mind waiting for some things. I love Willie. The hat. Hi. Hello, parcel for Tig Jemison. When I was little, I got a parcel from Grandad. Inside the parcel was a hat, a sailor's hat. I love my sailor's hat. Willie likes my sailor's hat too. I wore my sailor's hat a lot. One day, Grandad told Mummy that we were going on a big adventure. Ah, a message from Grandad. We're going on a big adventure down a magical river. Wear your sailor's hat. Wear your sailor's hat, said Grandad. That would be cuddly. Grandad's big adventure was on a boat. I wore my sailor's hat. Wait for me. Grandad nearly missed the boat. Grandad wore a sailor's hat too. You've got your hat on. Come aboard. The big boat rumbled and grumbled. Off we sailed on our big adventure. I think you'll find out. I'm the captain. Well, I'm the captain. Can you say aye aye, sir? Aye aye, sir. A man told us what everything was. And over on your right now, we have uh, the London Eye. Grandad made everything into a big adventure. We saw a wheel turning high in the sky. Spaceships spinning off to visit the clouds, said Grandad. We saw a tower of pointy glass. The Snow Queen's palace, said Grandad. We saw lots of boats. Fast boats, slow boats, and a battleship. Grandad spotted a fairy tale boat. Look, there's Peter Pan. Sailing to Never Never Land, said Grandad. We went under lots of bridges. When we went under one bridge, it got very windy. Whoosh! My sailor hat blew off. Whoosh! My sailor hat was gone. It floated away. It almost had my hat. Had my hat, said Grandad. No, I wanted my hat. We'll go to the cafe and get a cup of tea. My sailor hat was gone forever. I was angry. I wanted my hat back. Well, your hat's gone, Tig. Well, 
Do you know what? I'll get you another one, will I? Do you want a glass of water? You missed my hat. I loved my hat. Hey, Tig, when you lose something you love, it can make you feel angry. When you lose something forever, it can make you feel sad too. But losing your hat was no one's fault. It was the wind. No one knows what the wind will do next. But hey, Tig, you are on a big adventure. Big adventures are like the wind. You never know what will happen next. Your hat blowing away was the most exciting part of your adventure. Your hat blowing away has made your adventure big. Remember, Tig, a hat is just a thing. You can always get another one. What matters most is that you and Grandad and Mummy are all having fun on your big adventure together. Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. My hat was just a thing. You look a bit happier now. Losing my hat was my adventure. The Tower Bridge was opened in 1894. Upstairs, the man was still telling us what everything was. The man didn't know what Willy was. Well, it's only a toy I didn't miss my sailor set anymore. I just liked having my big adventure with my granddad. And I love Willy. I don't smile. Get your photo taken, you? When I was little, I went to nursery school every day. Willy came too. One day, a man was coming to take our pictures. You're going to look so pretty. Mummy wanted me to look pretty. Oh, you do have a pretty new dress, said Claire, my nursery teacher. Something very exciting is happening today, isn't it? Claire said, because the man was coming to take our pictures... So, I think we should put our aprons on to keep clean. We had to keep clean. When we went outside, we took our aprons off and put on our coats. I found a puddle. I had fun jumping in the puddle. When I came back inside, I wanted to paint. Take a look at your socks. I'm going to have to get you some clean ones. Oh dear, said Claire. Your socks are all wet and muddy. I painted a hand painting. Claire likes my painting. Oh. Oh no, your dress. Oops, I forgot to put my apron on. My dress was covered in paint. Claire gave me some new clothes to wear. The man came to take our pictures. When the man finished clattering, he started taking photos. We took it in turns to have our picture. Say, you will have to wait, said Claire. Mummy's coming with some clean clothes. I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to change my clothes. I wanted my picture now. I felt grumpy. Mummy arrived. She had another dress. Claire fiddled with my hair. I felt grumpy. If she doesn't want to change, it doesn't matter. Never mind, said Mummy. If she's happy in those clothes. But I wasn't happy. I still felt grumpy. Who's next then? Next, said the man. I sat on the chair. Are you going to give me a great big smile? Smile, said the man. You sure? I don't I smile, smile, I said. OK, then. The man pressed the camera. Next, said the man. Are you next? I watched the other children having pictures. Whoa! I no one that. was grumpy, but I was grumpy. Hey, Tig. It's not nice feeling grumpy. But there are so many little things that can make you feel grumpy. Brushing hair, pinchy hair slides, changing clothes, waiting for things to happen. Everything not being quite how you want it to be. 
But what can make you feel even grumpier is a grumpy face. And a grumpy face makes everyone else feel grumpy too. But if you smile, all the grumps will go away. Give a smile and make your grumpies go away. Give a smile and you'll feel happy all the day. Give a smile and all your grumpies will turn into your happies. Give a smile and make your grumpies go away. Go for it, Tig. Give a big smile for everyone. Yes, I thought. I don't want to feel grumpy anymore. I want to smile. Make everyone feel happy again. So I sat on the chair and gave the biggest smile ever. When the man saw Wooly, he didn't smile. It's only a tight spider. Oh, I love smiling. Mummy loves my smiling. Oh, look, that's a lovely picture of you, Tig. Especially in the picture. And I love Wooly. The birthday present. When I was little, I had a big, big birthday present. It was all wrapped up. When I unwrapped my big, big birthday present, I found a bicycle inside. It was all shiny and pink and purple with a bell and a basket and a seat in the back for Willie. Mummy said, do you want to ride your bike? Are you going for a ride? Not in my pyjamas. Not in my pyjamas, I said. When I got dressed, I pushed my bike outside. Should I help you ride your bike, said Mummy. No, I said. I just want to push my bike myself. I love my big new bike. Willy likes my new bike too. That night, I wrapped my bicycle up. I wanted to keep it all shiny and new. The next day, Mummy and me went shopping with our bikes. Shall I help you ride your bike? said Mummy. No, I just want to push my bike. It was a long way to the shops, round the fountain, past the playgrounds. I pushed my bike along. Going downhill, my bike ran away. Boing! Tig, you need to use your brakes. Do you want me to show you? No, I said. I just want to push my bike. When we got to the long path, I was puffed. Tig, why don't you sit on your bike and I'll show you how to pedal? It'll be so much easier. No. No, I said. I just want to push my bike. At the shops, Mummy bought lots of things. I bought a flower for Daddy. Come on, Tig. On the way home, we stopped and watch the big children on their bikes. They look like they're having fun. They're having fun, said Mummy. I pushed my bike some more, and then I stopped. I didn't want to push my bike. Tig, let me help you on your bike. No, I said. I didn't know what to do. Hey, Tig, pushing a bike is OK. But riding a bike looks much more fun, doesn't it? Pedal, 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 wee! But doing something new for the first time can be scary. Wee! <whistles> Ta-da! Not quite as scary as that, but still scary. All you need is a little help to get you going. Pedal, 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 wee! Hey, Tig, sometimes you just need to ask for someone to help. So, why don't you ask your mum to help you ride your bike? You might find it a lot easier than you thought. Pedal, 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 wee! Go for it, Tig. You'll still have your new bike, but now you'll be riding it. Yes, I thought. I'll ask Mummy to help me ride my bike. Now, if you can sit on your bike, 
And if you put your feet on the pedals... She showed me the bell, the pedals, the brakes, and how to go round and round. Riding my bike was easier than I thought. So Mummy and me rode all the way home. When Mummy saw Willy, she nearly fell off her bike. What's that in the back of your bike? He's only my toy spider, I said. I love riding my bike. And I love Willy. When I was little, my daddy took me on a train. Willy came too. Hello there. We had to buy tickets for the train. Daddy gave me my very own train ticket. At the front of the train was a steam engine. I'd never seen a steam engine before. The steam engine whistled. I was scared. Daddy was excited. He took lots of pictures with his camera. A man blew a whistle. Come on, Sig, said Daddy. Inside the train, we had our own little room with big armchairs. Woohoo! Chuff, chuff, chuff. I was so happy. This was the best day ever. Clash, clash, clash. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Clash, clash, clash. Hello there, tickets, please. Tickets, please, said the man. Through the country, chip, chip, chip. under the bridge, chip, chip, chip. I love the train. Chip, chip, chip. Come on, said Daddy, let's go and explore. We found a little shop. Orange juice, please. An orange juice? Daddy bought me a juice. Please. Bye, see you later. This was the best day ever. Yes. Ooh, up the hill we chuck. Daddy said the engine driver would need to shovel lots of coal. I was so happy. The train chuffed into a little station. Daddy and me got off the train. Good girl. Time for lunch before we go home, said Daddy. Home, I thought. I don't want to go home. Daddy and me had lunch. It was the best day ever. I didn't want the day to end. Time to go home, said Daddy. No, I thought. I don't want to go home. Maybe if I had Daddy's camera for a little, then the day might go on for a little longer. So I hid Daddy's camera under a tree. Where's my camera? Maybe it's in the bin. Maybe I put it in the bin. Oops, Daddy's in a tease, Tig. Poor Daddy. Hey, Tig, when you're having the best day ever, thinking of it ending can make you feel sad and cross. But best days don't just end, they can be there forever. A best day is for remembering. A best day is for talking about to mummy. A best day is for seeing all over again when you look at daddy's pictures. Oops. And this best day you can carry away with you. Your very own train ticket to remind you of all you did. And hey, and there's more fun to come. Woo -woo! Chuff, 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 chuff. Go for it, Tig. Help Daddy and say sorry. Then you can have more of your best day together. Yes, I thought. I was making Daddy sad. I wanted us both to have the best day ever. I said sorry to Daddy for hiding his camera. We were happy again. Oh, there, do you have tickets? I showed Willy to the ticket man. Oh, dear me, what is that? He's only my toy spider, I said. I love remembering my best day ever. And I love Willy. Hola. 
When I was little, I went on a holiday, a long, long way away. Don't forget Willie. Willie came too. When we arrived at the holiday, it was in a hotel. I was asleep. In the morning, I woke up. We were in a big room with stripy bits of sun. Mummy, where are we? We're on holiday, Tig, in Spain. Tig, come and see this. Help me open the shutters, said Daddy. Outside was our very own little balcony. Tig. Through the trees, I could see the sea. At breakfast time, we went onto the hotel roof. That's funny, I thought, having breakfast on the roof. Everything was different on holiday. After breakfast on the roof, we heard some shouting. Daddy said, hey Tig, come and look at this. Tig, come and see this. We looked round the corner and there was a swimming pool. That's funny, I thought. A swimming pool on the roof. Mummy we put sun cream on me and a big sun hat. Right, ready? Okay. Then we went out to explore. Everything was blue and green and white and beautiful. Nothing was quite the same. Mummy liked the shops. At one shop they sold dresses. They were pretty dresses. But they looked different. Hola, son vestidos muy bonitos. Would you like one? said Mummy. Sure. I wasn't sure. Okay. Everything was all a bit strange. Come back later. Daddy found some ice cream. Egg, have you ever seen ice cream like this before? The ice cream was all different colours. Flavours. And piled up into mountains. We went to look at the sea. The sea was so big and blue. Way down below was a beach. There were fishing boats and straw umbrellas. Shall we go in the telescope? Yeah. We look through a telescope. Can you see anything? We could see fishermen and their fishing nets. Maybe we can go down on the beach for a swim soon, said Daddy. I wasn't sure. Everything was so different. Everything was so hot. Hey Tig, when you go on holiday and visit new places, nothing is ever quite the same. There are so many little differences, but that's what makes a holiday all the more fun. La 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 on my holidays, I go to new places, there's lots of new faces. On my holidays, the change is amazing, the sun can be blazing. On my holidays, I can't stop my smiling, I find it exciting. On my holidays, la 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 and your treats and your meals that you eat on your holidays the views ever changing the palm trees are waving on your holidays new sounds and the smells and the ringing of bells tingling on your holidays you love all your holidays so different from every day on your holidays la 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 Yes, I thought. Everything is different. But this is my holiday. Daddy, can I get an ice cream? Yes, come on then. It's fun. Here we go. Hola, ¿quieres uno? The lady in the ice cream shop said, Hello. I 
like the lady. My ice cream was different. Mmm. But my ice cream was the best. We went for a swim on the road. There were other children swimming too. The children said hello. Hola. I like the other children. In the town, Mummy bought me the pretty dress. I liked everything different. Maybe you can look at some I liked nice. the lady at the shop. Gracias. But I didn't Gracias. understand Adios. what she said. Adios. We went down to the beach. There were other children on the beach. Hola. The children said hello. When we had lunch, it was cooked on the beach. Paella, said Daddy. My favourite. There were lots of flames and bubbling. While we waited for the paella to cook, I played on the climbing frame. Hola. There were some other children. They said, hello. I like the other children. When we ate the paella, it was so good. It had prawns and chicken and rice. Mm. The climbing frame children were sitting at a table next to me. They waved and said, hello. I wanted to say hello too, but I didn't know how. Hey Tig, we're on holiday in Spain. Everyone here speaks in a different way to us. That's no worry. We can speak like them too. We can speak Spanish. See? See. What does everyone say to you? Hello. Hello. Hola. Hola. You understand. Hola is hello. Now you can say hola too. Hola. I can have even more holiday fun. I can talk to everyone. Hola. Hola, I said to my friends. Hola, my friend said to me. After lunch, I played on the beach with my friends. We talked lots. Siesta time, said Mummy. Siesta time. And adios. Adios. Goodbye, I waved to my friends. It was so hot. We had to sleep after our lunch. That's great. Two days for one in Spain? Two days for one, said Daddy. Everything was so different. That night, I wore my pretty new dress. Children were dancing. said my friends. Hola. There was so much dancing, and laughing, and clapping. Hola. When a man saw Wooly, he stamped his feet right. It's only a toy spider. I liked my holiday. I liked everything being different. And I love Wooly. Hogmanay. When I was little, we had summer, and my birthday, and snowballs, and Christmas. I liked Christmas the best. Oh. But what I really liked was that after Christmas, we went to stay with my granny. Wooly came too. Mummy, Daddy and me slept in the sitting room. I slept on a blow-up bed. Hey. Mummy and Daddy slept on the sofa. It grew into a bed. 
It was exciting staying at Granny's after Christmas. One morning, Mummy said, Tig is a very special day today. Do you know what day it is? It's Hogmanay. What Hogmanay? Hogmanay is the very last day of the year. Hogmanay is the very last day of the year. So that means no more days in the universe. So no more days. There will be lots more days because tomorrow will be New Year. There's going to be more days. We've got the whole new year. Exciting things. Yeah. I didn't like it being the last day. I liked this year. When we went into the town, it was so exciting. It was like a big party. There was a fun fair in the streets with a big wheel and a carousel. Everything looked magic. And music everywhere. Hogmanay was a special day. Hogmanay was fun. Everyone seemed so happy. No one seemed to mind it was the last day. When it got dark, there was a big procession with fire torches. A band played with bagpipes. Bagpipes. When we got home, Granny had made a steak pie. pie. Steak pie, my favourite. It was so good. Is it still Hogmanay, Mummy? I just still Hogmanay, Mummy. Yeah, it is, Tig. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> Mummy, look at my tiny cake. When it was bedtime, Mummy said, Tig, tonight you're going to sleep in Granny's bed. Isn't that exciting? Why am I sleeping in Granny's bed? Because Hogmanay goes long into the night and that is when you and Because me... Hogmanay is a very long day. Then Granny came in with a little tree. This is my special Hogmanay wish tree. Because this is my special Hogmanay wishing tree. Everybody has to make a wish. And once you've made your wish, you pop a fairy onto the tree. What do I wish, Granny? I said. What wish? Well, you could wish for something good to happen in the new year. I don't know, I said. I don't know, Granny. Oh, well, you think about it. And that's your wee fairy to pop on the tree. You have to think, said Granny. I was sad. I didn't want a new year. Wee! Hey, Tig. No need to be sad. Hogmanay might be the last day of one year, but tomorrow is the first day of a brand new year. But what about this year? This year will always be there, as happy memories of summer and snowballs and your birthday and Christmas. But tomorrow will be a new year, when you can look forward to summer and snowballs and your birthday and Christmas all over again. Yippee! That's why everyone is so excited and happy on Hogmanay. Everyone is looking forward to the new year. Yes. And what it will bring. So go for it, Tig. Don't be sad. Whoops! Make a wish for a happy and exciting new year. Yes, I thought. I love Hogmanay, but I'll make a wish for a happy new year where we can have summer snowballs and my birthday and Christmas all over again. Before I went to sleep, Auntie Shona came in. I just came to put my wish on the wishing tree. Where's Clive? Where's your boyfriend Clive? I said. He's not here, I'm afraid. I wish he was. You're going to wish for that? Why don't you wish for him? I said. Yes. I think I might. Maybe I shall, said Auntie Shona. I've made my wish. And popped a fairy on the tree. Shona and Mummy kiss me night night. When you wake up, Tig, said Mummy, it will be New Year's Day. Good morning, it's going to be New Year's Day. I closed my eyes so my wish would come quickly. When I woke, it was dark. I heard music. I looked into Granny's sitting room. Mummy and Daddy were dancing. Shona was playing her fiddle. Oh, Tig, 
Oh, sorry, Tig. Is it New Year yet? Is it New Year? I said. No, it's still Hogmanay, said Mummy. Granny's having a wee party. Come and join in. <sighs> we'll go and get the food, Mum. My wish hadn't come true. Is Clive here? I said to Auntie Shona. Is boyfriend Clive here? No, I'm afraid not. Oh, maybe that's Clive now, Shona. When Shona went to the door, she didn't come back with boyfriend Clive. It's time. Oh. Shona came back with a man I didn't know. Tom comes from next door, Tig. He's got a wonderful singing voice. Shona wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. Our wishes hadn't come true. Hey, Tig, some wishes can take a long time. Especially when you wake up in the night. But my wish hasn't come true. You've wished for a happy and exciting new year. But you have to wait for a new year to arrive first. New year can't happen just like that. We have to wait until it's exactly the right time. New year will arrive when all the clocks strike 12 o'clock midnight tonight. But hey, wee! Hogmanay makes the waiting fun. So go for it, Tig. Join in Granny's Hogmanay party. And it won't be long now before Hogmanay turns into New Year. Hooray! Yes, I thought. Hogmanay makes the waiting for New Year fun. On we go, heel for heel and toe for toe. Granny and me and Shona dance together. Then Mummy and Daddy came in with some party food. Haggis! The haggis. The haggis looked funny. Suddenly Daddy said, Nearly New Year! It's nearly midnight. Ten! Nine! We all counted backwards. Two! One! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Everyone kissed and hugged. Outside fireworks shot up all over the place. Then the doorbell rang. It was Clive. Auntie Shona was so pleased. Granny was pleased too. When Clive gave her a lump of coal. This will bring us luck too. Mm -hmm. I showed Willie to Clive to say Happy New Year. <laughs> it's only a time spider. <laughs> Then Tam from next door sang and never brought to mind Should old acquaintance be forgot and all Willie sang too sang. Remember all the friends you have and all the things you've done Shona and Clive were happy. All our Hogmanay wishes had come true. It was New Year. We'd have summer and snowballs and birthdays and Christmas all over again. And I love Willie. Halloween. What have we got here? Pumpkins. When I was little, we were going to have a Halloween party. We are going to have a Halloween party. What's a Halloween party? What's a Halloween party, Mummy? I said. Scary. <laughs> no, fun. Halloween is a party people have been having for hundreds of years and everyone gets to dress up in funny clothes. A Halloween party is where everyone dresses up in funny clothes, fun. said Mummy. Right, pumpkin time. The first thing that we did for the Halloween party was make pumpkin lanterns. We took the middle out of the pumpkin and Daddy made pumpkin pie. We made a face in the pumpkin. Nose, eyes, mouth. Ooh, scary. No, funny face. Silly Daddy. Tig, what are you going to dress up as for Halloween? What do you want to dress up as? said Mummy. You can be anything you like. A spaceman, a fairy. A bubble bug monster. A 
bobble bug monster, I said. What's a bobble bug monster? A monster with lots of bobbles. Mummy helped me make the bobble bug monster. When Angel came to play, she helped me make my bobble bug monster too. What are you dressing up as for Halloween, Angel? said Mummy. So what are you going to wear for Halloween, Angel? I don't know. Mm, a surprise. That's a I'm surprise. not sure yet, said Angel. Yeah. We were having the Halloween party in a big, big right room. We are going to have to make this place all scary. Scary and fun. We're mm. going to make the room into Halloween. At one end of the room, Daddy made a castle. The castle was very old. Angel came along to help too. We put the pumpkins all around the room. What are you dressing up as for Halloween? said Daddy. Angel, what are you going to get dressed up as? Mm, I don't know. Oh, that's brilliant. Surprise, surprise. On the day of Halloween, I dressed up as my bobble bug monster. Wow, I don't think there are going to be many bobble bug monsters. Daddy had made some little wings for Willy, so he could dress up too. Don't forget, Willy has to dress up too. Right, off we go. Come on, Tig. At the Halloween party, everyone came dressed up. It was fun. There were lots of monsters. Fairies, ghosts, witches, pirates. Daddy didn't really have a costume. Daddy was just sort of ordinary. Mummy was a sparkly witch. I didn't see Angel. Gather round, gather round, because... Daddy told us a scary story. A scary, scary story. A fairy cried. Right, no more scary. Halloween is scary. You're OK. No more scary, said Mummy. No more scary, Daddy. No more scary, said the bobble bug monster. Then Mummy said, Look who's arrived! I thought it was Angel, but it wasn't. Mr. Jack O' Lantern! It was Mr. Jack O' Lantern, the trick or treat man! Witches and monsters, hello! We all had to do a trick for Mr. Jack O' Lantern. And then he gave us a treat. There you go. I was so excited. Oh. I practiced my very own bubble bug monster stomp. My turn came. But then I saw another bubble bug monster. It was Angel. I sat under a table. How dare Angel copy me? I'm the Bobble Bug Monster. Hey, Tig, it's not nice when you think you're the only Bobble Bug Monster and then you see another one. It's not nice when people copy you. When people copy you, it can feel like someone has taken something from you. But then when people copy you, you can feel pleased too. When people copy you, it shows you how much they like the things you do. Angel just loved your bubble bug monster. Angel loved your bubble bug monster so much. She wanted to be a bubble bug monster too. You can feel pleased Angel copied you. You can feel pleased you helped Angel choose her dressing up. And hey, Two monster bubble bugs are better than one, so go for it, Tig. Don't be grumpy. Go and have fun with your bubble bug chum. Yes, I thought. I'm pleased that Angel liked my bubble bug monster. Monster stomp. Angel and me did a bubble bug monster stomp together for Mr. Jack O' Lantern. We got his treats. After that, Mr. Jack O' Lantern did lots of party games. Sweeten the marshmallows! Eating the marshmallow. Oh. Knocking off the witch's hat. Oh. 
Wrap up the mummy, or should I say, a daddy? <laughs> Wrapping up the mummy. We wrap daddy up in old wrapping paper. Hitting the boat high on the skeleton. And then we did the scary monster stomp. Halloween was so much fun. At the end of the party, all the monsters and witches and fairies went home. We went home too. Bobble Bug Monster Bedtime! Retired Bobble Bug Monster. No! I said, I didn't want Halloween to end. I still wanted to be a monster. Okay, take pajamas on. I didn't want to go to bed. Run! Hey, Tig, we've had so much Halloween fun, we don't want to spoil it. Maybe it's time to stop the rules? I, but I like being a monster. I like being a monster too, but even monsters have to go to bed. Wee! I like a lot of monsters, oh yes I do. Spotty ones and hairy ones, one eye or two. They squelch around in wellies, they make me laugh. And some are rather smelly, they need a bath. They wobble, roar and squabble, and they bump their tums. But I really, really like my monster chums. But monsters are for daytime fun and not when bedtime comes. So when I sleep my happy night, so do my monster chums. Night, night, monsters, not one roar. Snuggle down comfy and please don't snore. Night, night, monsters, not one peep, snuggle down, come fee and go to sleep. Yes, I thought. I've had the best Halloween, but now is bedtime. I close my eyes. When I opened my eyes again, I was no longer a monster. I was in my pyjamas. To bed for the bubble monster. Not a bubble monster, just me. <gasps> it's only a toy spider, a <gasps> silly dragon. Oh, come on then. I like Halloween, and I love Wooly. Wooly and Wooly love me. We've been together since we were wee. 